Hey, let's talk about one of the most common questions I get here at Washington Gun Law, which is, do I have to run a background check when selling a gun too? And then you can just fill in the blank. And the reason we have confusion about this issue is back several years ago, Washington State decided to be one of the first states to close the gun show loophole. It, we now require a background check to be conducted on purchasers of all firearms even sales between private individuals. But there are limited exceptions found in RCW 9.41.113, including subsection 4, which lists a certain level of family relationships that are exempt from this, but exempt from this requirement only in a certain situation. So pay careful attention to the language because it reads as follows. This section does not apply to A, a transfer between immediate family members, which for this subsection shall be limited to, and this is important, here's the relationships, spouses, domestic partners, parents, parents-in-law, children, siblings, siblings-in-law, grandparents, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, first cousins, aunts, and uncles. That is a bona fide gift or loan. So yes, we do not need to conduct a background check on those individuals if we are gifting them a firearm or loaning them a firearm. Now, any type of exchange of a firearm outside that relationship or any type of uh, exchange of a firearm for consideration, that is for payment, that is in a sale and a purchase, those shall be conducted pursuant to the same statute, 9.41.113, with a background check conducted on the transferee or the person who is receiving a firearm. The only other exception is found in 4B, the sale or transfer of an antique firearm. Listen for more thorough discussions about this topic. Go ahead and visit us over at YouTube. My name is William Kirk. I'm the president of Washington Gun Law, and you've been watching Bullet Points.